Have you ever asked yourself what the hosts of Airbnbs actually do when guests aren't present? Or have you ever stopped to think just whatever happened to the cast of Sesame Street? Well, today we find out that there's a fine line between Airbnb and Scarebnb. Before proceeding with today's video, I wanted to provide a trigger warning, as the end of this video gets a little dark, a little creepy, and a little weird. So it is not advisable that you watch this around children. If you don't believe me, just ask my editor, Caleb's daughter. Dude, and that scary one. I want to go to, to the normal one. Normal one. Normal Elmo bar. Was it not scary? Now, if you're a glutton for punishment, just like myself, then I advise after you watch today's video to go back to that one spot at the very end and watch it on half time speed. Godspeed. What's today's video, Caleb? Oh, we're to say Airbnbs, part two. New, 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 new. The Airbnbs, they get weirder, and we all know that the, I like weird, quirky Airbnbs. I'm here for it. I was hoping last last reaction video just absolutely crushed it, but sometimes you must have a sacrifice video just to test the waters. And I tested the waters, and the audience did not approve, which is why I'm doing it again. Wait, what? what? I don't get it! <laughs> no! Because I got a lot of heart for these weird Airbnbs, so let's get into it. Okay, let's hop into the first one here. Mystery machine in the desert, smiley face. Okay, so first of all, we've got the pedo van here, uh, bright blue. But, you know, I've seen this on Airbnb where you can, like, rent the entire van and, you know, you can actually drive it. What does one say? What does one say about this? So first of all, if you want people's attention, you got it. And there's a surfboard at the top. The inside is shag carpet, which obviously makes sense. And then you've got this like Victorian lamp here. And then two water bottles. Hey, you thirsty, pal? You thirsty with all the candy that we get, gave you to lure you inside the van? Here's some water. Okay, well, there's not much to see here. And obviously they didn't take professional photos, but for the most part, 18 bucks a night. You mad about that, bro? You booked a place for $18 and you're mad about it? Pfft, that's your fault, pal. For $18 a night, I would expect to get murdered. And if I didn't, then that's a five star for me, especially for this price point. So I'm gonna rank this. Let's give it a 73.998 out of 100 because it's cheap and you should know exactly what you're getting from the photos here. It's, yeah, it's fine. All right, let me clarify. I do know that, that the mystery machine is from Scooby-Doo. Caleb's asking me here. There was no Scooby-Doo decor, so I was just assuming that they were just like making a play on it. But they, I, do they actually respect Scooby-Doo? Because I, there's no Scooby-Doo. It's not the mystery machine just because you called it that. It doesn't make it true. True Cold War Relic Atlas F Missile Silo slash bunker. A lot of words in a, in a title. I mean, ain't gonna lie. This is pretty f at it. So it's a bunker here. Honestly, like, it's kind of old, creaky, ugly, and gross like a bunker, but because it's an Airbnb, it's cool. Which honestly, a deal like this came across my table about a week ago, and I was considering buying this with a group of people in my mastermind, but it was gonna be like a $1 million renovation budget, and I was like, mm, maybe we better not. Better not do that. But honestly, seeing someone else do it, it's kind of cool because A, it's an Airbnb, but B, if there ever is like some kind of giant bomb that's dropped in the area, you're covered. Can I say bomb on camera? Bomb, 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 You gonna arrest me? So honestly, the actual digs itself is not, gosh, this is as authentic as it gets though. I mean, if you want to mine for plutonium, I think I found the Airbnb where you can do that. Like, okay, so a little underwhelming as an actual Airbnb because I do think that you could spend a lot of money. Like, let's say one, two, three hundred thousand dollars to make this like the ultimate. Like, you could even go like super retro funky atomic style and have like cool groovy colors and like really nice furniture. And I think you could charge a lot more than what they're charging, which is, which is four ninety five a night. I mean, honestly, they're milking it here. So, but I think to go next level, you do like a two, three, hundred thousand dollar renovation and you charge like a thousand dollars a night because I think that this place could definitely do it especially since it's in Roswell New Mexico it's a very popular place where people are visiting maybe you don't go atomic maybe you go like alien theme and it looks like an alien spaceship in area 51 but I think that this place has the potential to be like one of the greatest themed places of all time but obviously like they probably just spent all of their cash acquiring the actual property either way in its current state I don't know if I'd spend 500 bucks but I will rate this place an 89.7 out of 100 What's the other one that you said, the suitcase one? Spice Bus? Spice Bus? Okay, is this like Spice Girls? All right. 
well done so far. It's very rare to see a bus that's been completely rehabbed and well done. I guess this is like the Spice Girls bus. Hey, I've got this mirror. You can get this mirror at your nearest Target. Okay, disco balls. You know what? I actually do have disco balls in a few of my spaces. Is Spice Bus like a play on Spice Girls? Is that what this is? Okay, oh, this is the actual and original Spice Bus that fans will know and love from the movie Spice World, the great cinematic masterpiece, Spice World. Featuring Ginger Spice, Baby Spice, Scary Spice, Baby Spice, Sporty Spice, Posh. Posh Spice. But with an interior makeover, working with some incredible designers, we have turned it into accommodation so you can stay the night and live out every fan's wildest dream. Every? wildest dream. Well, that makes this a lot cooler. This isn't just a bus renovation. This is the actual bus from the Spice World movie. Like, how do you even get this bus? Like, what, what do you think they do? Were they at an auction and they were like, hmm, yes, put me down for the Spice World bus, 35 quid. <laughs> what's the what's the currency out there? Suit, sleeping in a suitcase. Oh, like you're actually sleeping in a suitcase. For $76 a night, this is in Grabnitz. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what. This just the, the B is weird. Grabnitz, Steermark, Austria. <laughs> I think my favorite part is that they have like people in there. They're like, hey, in case you didn't know that this is a life size suitcase, we, we've included our models here to demonstrate how to use this space. Like, I want this. I want this as an Airbnb. Like, I am gonna rebrand my tiny house village to be tiny suitcase village. Like, where do you even get this made? I guess like a prop designer can make this, like a prop designer from like a movie set or something. And <laughs> Honestly, like it's just, it's such a weird juxtaposition of elements because you're actually sleeping in a suitcase. It's even got like these little like, what are those called? Like the, to prop it open. And then it's got like the most magical view ever. Like that, that to me is probably like the weirdest thing about this is that it's like super weird quirky suitcase, but hey, we got a view and we know it and you're gonna pay us top dollar for this. But also, if you want three strangers just like peering in, at you, then there's nothing more romantic than three absolute strangers just looking inside of your Airbnb. Oh, and it even closes like a suitcase. Does it latch? How far, how, how much did they commit to this? Does it actually latch? And does it have a TSA approved lock? Five out of five for me. I want this <laughs> with a model like this guy. If I was like, hey, Caleb, find me an assassin by 3 p.m. today. <laughs> That's what this guy would look like. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the owner of this. I do genuinely like your Airbnb. It's just like, this is like a nudist colony. Cause what is this? This is so weird. This like, this to me like is like the photo from like a 1950s, like mid-century modern magazine or something. I like it. Five out of five. Woo! Sesame, oh wow. I didn't know that titles could be this long. Let me just read y'all through this mouthful, which at first glance, I like what I'm seeing here, but. <sighs> Let me get my breath for this. Sesame Street Grand Sliding Homestay, 10 minutes walk, Nagahiro near South Station Savage Waste Ned Red Pool <laughs> designed for a different experience. Wow, how did they do that? Airbnb only gives you like 50 characters for your title. Okay, so this is like a, uh, so far it looks like if you have a fantasy to be a gerbil, then this is gonna be the place that you wanna book. And placing hamsters inside of them. He was gonna call it Tube City. So it's like a, the ultimate kids play area here. And they actually do have like a very nice Sesame Street Marquee. No, I'm just kidding. I know it's called Marquee. Don't even know I said Marquee. Didn't think it was funny then. <laughs> Don't think it's funny now. You got this big slide that takes you from upstairs to down, which honestly, I appreciate that it's clear because if you're always looking for your kids, then like having a view of them inside these like gerbil sides thing would actually be pretty clutch. Okay, I was gonna, okay, so I don't really know where the Sesame Street comes in, but as you can see, they do have the marquee here. They got the big bird pillow and then a little deviation here. They got a KFC pillow, a Pepsi pillow, and couch potato chips, not even a not even a brand, just the general concept of couch potato chips. And then a ball pit, and I'll tell you what, I don't know much about other Airbnb hosts, but there is no way that they are cleaning these balls. I wash my balls religiously. I like them so clean, you can just feel every dimple. Thank you for sharing that with me. I know that they're probably not cleaning these ball pit balls, and I don't necessarily expect them to, but it is a little gross. Now, I think what happened was that they went to a garage sale and they saw a bunch of stuff like that Sesame Street marquee and this McDonald's sign, and they're like, I'm gonna buy it all. And because I have a majority of Sesame Street things that I bought, that's gonna be the theme of this Airbnb. Oh, this is so sad and twisted. <laughs> Like Elmo and this other doll is dead. You see that? There's X's on it. There's like X's on their eyeball.
Claus. That's a little twisted for a kid, but honestly, I can kind of respect that it's like, hey, Santa Claus isn't real. Both Elmos are dead, by the way, but surprisingly, Colonel Sanders, <laughs> alive and kicking. They <laughs> just keep showing pictures of the dead animals or like the dead Muppets, whatever. Like why? Maybe it's for adults. This is like adults who like never left, left childhood and they have to go book this Airbnb to face the fact that their childhood, like Airbud is dead. You know what I'm saying? Like the original Airbud is dead right now. And maybe that's just, this is their way of saying like, hey, theoretically, if you were to like chart out Big Bird's life for how long he's actually been on PBS, dead. So overall, I guess I'm not really sure because they do have some Sesame Street here and then they... <laughs> Damn it. The sheets also have like a dead Oscar the Grouch and dead Elmo and stuff like that. But it's such a weird thing because like they're all alive on this bed. So it's like, if you want to live a happy life, you sleep in this bed. And if you want to accept the existential crisis that we all die, then sleep in the other bed. Sorry, it just gets worse and worse. There's literally like, there's like an Elmo nailed to the wall with his arms out. Hi, my name is Elmo. <laughs> Do you like Elmo and friends? Did you know we die too? It's true. <laughs> Come stay in a little bit of my shoulders. <laughs> so basically, if you like want to die, in the style of Sesame Street, come stay at this Airbnb. A weird Airbnb, I think we can all agree with that. I'll rank this one 99 out of 100, because I love it. I love weird things. This $41 a night, I mean, I would pay twice or thrice that. I would book that and not tell any of my friends like what this place was, and I would just watch them experience the creepiness in real time. So, 99 out of 100. Good job, what weirdo Sesame Street host. And all right, and that wraps it up. Those are the weirdest Airbnbs on the internet, part two. Which Airbnb did you think is the weirdest? Which one would you love to stay in and which one would you say not nah, play not gonna i'm not gonna stay there you couldn't pay me enough to stay there let me know your comments down below don't forget to like subscribe and uh, i'll catch you on the next episode the little little episode video next thing that you'll see on the channel i'll catch you there okay see ya